why do I always think of something you won't say? Hello, Will. Well, no, I must think I can see out my own two eyes, and that barometer looks very cold today. So I have to go backwards when my mouth's not working, sorry. Lawrence and Sophie and Lawrence and Dina. And I was I was in, in, a minute early, sorry. Hi, Jeannie and Caroline and Will. Right, I'm a bit tired and my mouth keeps doing funny stuff like blah, 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 blah. But anyway, that's just normal, really, isn't it? Okay, Come Right is 72 White, I think, which is this book here. Very old song. It hasn't been done very often. Um, so uh, you won't probably know it. Oh, 
Sophie, hello Wolfie. <laughs> hello, hello Kev. How's your cat? My cat's getting fatter. Hello Reggie. Hello Diane. I've got um sin butterfly. Did you mean the old butterfly or the new one? Because I've got two of them now. One of them's called Butterfly Mind, one of them's called Butterfly. So I'm gonna do both so that just to be on the safe side, seeing as you asked so very nicely last time. <laughs> Bonsoir, you're in your kitchen. I'm in my bedroom. I had to turn the fire on once because it was freezing. It's hot in the day and then it's freezing at night. Hmm. Rubbish. Okay. Celia. I keep doing this one because I really love it. Oh, right, Dean. I'm right. I've got the right one then. Okay. I'll do Celia. Then I'm going to do Butterfly. <laughs> it's not quite the same without the band. But you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> this song... Absolutely love this song and because of the story the story is um, the night circus by Erin Morgenstein and if you get the chance to read this book read the book the night circus by Erin Morgenstein I'm not going to tell you the plot because it will spoil it but it is just unbelievable I must have read it about three times now it's really good and I did write to the people who are supposed to be making a film out of it and going here I'll do a song for you and guess what they said 
buckle. You know, we all keep trying. Same people that do Harry Potter have got the rights to the film. I found that much out. So if anybody knows that film company called the Night Circus to film it, tell them I'll do this. Is, this could be the theme tune. I'll do it. Silly makes you think it's illusion Taking away our sight with confusion Always is love Always is love Silly lifts the rose from the table Uses a mind but you don't believe it Always is love Always is love You see what you want Celia. Yeah, <clears throat> we've now got the roof leak. The update on the roof leak is we're down to the last foot. We've got about this much. It could be anywhere in this 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 about a foot, isn't it? Yeah, it's just between two joists. It's coming in in one place. Oh, I think it'd be easy, wouldn't you? Well, it's not. Pink eighty two. Okay, this is for Dina. Um, I practiced this today, and so. Um, yeah, anything could happen. Pink 82. Here we go. Have a slurp of tea. Everybody ready? Good. Everybody had a good day? Did anybody do an Easter egg hunt? We did. My children went in the garden and hunted for 60 small Easter eggs. Catherine saying you look the same. <laughs> I'll tell you what my secret is. Low lights. That's what it is. Low lighting. <laughs> They found 56. There are four small Easter eggs in our garden. They're probably runny by now. Hungry, God, I 
pupils eyes you know what you're doing the way you toss your hair is just divine G minor at the end but uh, there we are that was a C minor and that's for you Dina now, I haven't played that for a long time that would have been original the original fabulous red diesel with either Chris or Max or bass I can't tell you 2008 I can't remember I'd have to look I can't be asked now so I'm oh, sorry I just snorted <laughs> into there okay and the other butterfly I'll do straight after hello Nick Nick um Arts Council apparently have a look at that if you've got a grantium account I haven't done it yet but apparently <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm cheating doing this one because I do it loads <laughs> I nearly did under the radar tonight. Song 
just because she's free and singing, 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 singing song. But in the next tree that day, I could hear and it made him sing it and sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it song. Suzanne, I, I think everyone should, if you don't mind, say hello to Kathy. Kathy was my flatmate when I was what 22, 23. We lived in um, Wood Green and then Crouch, Crouch End. Well, the bottom of Crouch End, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, she's still there, I think. Hello, Suzanne. Um, okay, driftwood butterfly. Mm. Okay. Pink 25. I find it a little bit strange actually about this rule about not being able to go on the beach or the park. If you're two metres away from everyone, does it matter? I don't understand that. If you were just, just to walk quietly in the park or the, and I live five minutes from the beach, I don't get it. Hmm. Anyway, it's police down on the beach to go moving you on, it's ridiculous. It's a bit um <clears throat> anyway. Maybe you should just all get hamster balls, that'd be good. 
I don't mean hamster testicles, I mean like those, you know, the balls, the big um, absorbing balls. Hi, Joy. <laughs> it's moving swiftly on. <clears throat> George. Hello, George. So Nick Conroy on here, by the way, if anyone wants to know, if you need anything recording, go to Nick Conroy. He's very, very good. Go and message him privately. He's really good. He does all our albums. He's very good. I just thought I'd put that out there. Even if it's like a hen party or something, you know, for somebody or, you know, he's good. Anyway, hollow bones. Ooh. 
probably did that a couple of days ago. But, uh, she might have that in mind, you know, I don't know what really. Um, pink 31. I'm in sort of bonesy sort of mood, that's why. So it's the other book one. Well, I did quite a few book ones because I love books a lot. Um, <clears throat> it's like listening to people talking about you can put it down when you've had enough. And it's not like Teddy because it's not, is it? No. It's not as noisy for a start. That's, that's one of the things. Another book that um, I've been going on about, and it's very, very good. It's called Hollow Bones. Oh, no, it's called Skellig. Sorry. <laughs> hair dye and new glasses neither of which have appeared these fall off my nose and my hair dyes in the post hmm. so this next one 
I love this mix song because a little bit obsessed with graveyards and stuff. You've probably realised that by now. <laughs> if you've been here more than once. <laughs> this is what I think about. Oh, that's not right, is it? Let me see. Black 10. So that's the white book, pink book, black book, got it, right? Very organised, I think. Thank you, Will. So this is what I think about houses, right? They've all got... Most of them are possessed by something. Thank you. And um, low lighting, red glasses. You should try it, it's very easy. If I take it all off, you'll see a very different thing. There's a convent over the road, and um, it was take, it was it was put together by a lady, Celia, Celia Donnelly. No, can't remember her name. I've got a book over there. I haven't read it yet because it's a bit dry. I'm freezing, Joy. I'm freezing. Anyway, there's a covenant on that place and you are not allowed to use that for anything except education. And um, it's it's massive, it's absolutely huge. And in the, in the back of it is a nun's graveyard. But when the kids, um, it's it's safe. Somebody tried to make it into flats so and we all wouldn't let them. And we all said no and there's loads of dodgy deals and everything going on. But in the end, the building retained its, um, it retained it, its, purpose and became a football school so it's great now it's football football playing absolutely fantastic because of what they were going to do they were going to knock it down and make flats they didn't anyway in the corner of this it like this like um there's a, a graveyard and it's got 90 nuns in it not like deep 99 so many so many nuns i don't know and because they're nuns of course they just put all the bodies on top of each other hijack um, and but my friend Mick said that when he was a little boy they used to call it the baby's graveyard because they used to see little caskets like this going in and I've checked all of the I went in pretending to be doing a project or something you know like you do and took photographs and tried to work out what, and there was no mention of babies in there but they did have a Magdalene laundry so I just wonder you know because babies do get born dead don't they and he was positive that all the kids called it that. So that got made me write this song because um, I just thought, ooh, ooh, I thought like that. Hidden from the public view, 
forgotten ones, the hidden few, wash away the sinners too. You'll never guess they never knew the place where nobody goes. It's the baby's graveyard. It's the baby. It's the baby's graveyard It's the quiet place When nobody, nobody goes Nobody goes Cause nobody knows Nobody goes Cause nobody, nobody knows Nobody knows, nobody knows Nobody goes I should mention that actually that that it was it's not an unhappy place i think that the babies that were put in there were accidental i don't think the nuns were doing it and um, it doesn't seem to be haunted like that it seems to be quite happy and nice i think they were just trying to be quietly deal with things you know because the girls obviously in the in the 40s in, in 1940s and 30s they wouldn't weren't supposed to be having babies were they so you know if one died who know anyway i don't know uh, what do I know? Nothing. Actually, nothing. I don't know anything. Oh, another new... This is this one. Never get, never gets... Well, hello, Zavarin. Wow. Got an annoying cough, but it isn't coronavirus. Oh, chocolate went down the wrong way. That's a good sort of a cough, isn't it? I like that sort of cough. Except when you're in Tesco's or Lidl's and then everyone looks at you. Mind you, so if you're out for eating their Easter eggs before you paid for them. <laughs> right, this is called Leap. It's a story. Black 41. It's not about me. This is just another person's story. Well, the last story wasn't about me. They're not all about me. I know I'm quite obsessed, but you know. It's a true story, though. And it's related to innocence in a way. I can't really say too much. Sits outside near the apple tree 
Today's the day, today's the day She's gonna wake up There's been so many nights Lying on a pillow There's been so many days I'm walking in a sea There's been so many years I feel bumps on annihilation So now, ha! So baby, now it's time a few bits up there but you get the idea she did take a great but she did she left she's no happier she's doing the same thing with someone else <sighs> what can you do nothing thank you <laughs> uh it's not it's, i'm gonna do innocence last which is now it's um or am i i don't know i'm just gonna check make sure there's nothing else i fancy no, I'm going to do Innocence. Hello, Otty. Oh, I've got to tell you something, Otty. I had a really weird dream about you. We, were do we went to a festival. This is true. Ask Will. Like yesterday, not the day before, yesterday, we, we pulled in in the caravan. There was nobody there except you and your mum and and Sorka and, and Oriol. And you and Sorka and Oriol all had really dodgy perms and your mum had, like, funny little plaits. <laughs> and I woke up and thought, well, that was weird. And you were all about 10 years younger as well, and you were all there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, there's Ottilie. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is my last one I'm going to do tonight. i tell you why. Because I'm waiting to go and watch The Nest. Have you been watching it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want to know what's happening. Ziggy. Oh, hello, Ziggy. Thank you all for coming and into my bedroom and keeping me company while I practice. Because I always practice with all these lights on. And um, I'm very, I'm very happy that you're here. It's keeping me going, to be honest. This is cool. 
made that one last so it would be easy. I made more mistakes in that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll put it on YouTube anyway. I don't care. I'm always making mistakes. Who cares? I don't care. Thank you very much for being here and I appreciate your company very much. I hope you have a lovely day tomorrow and that you all get lots of cheap Easter eggs because they'll all be really cheap tomorrow, I'm sure. And I think we should all go and get loads because they are essential because chocolate makes your serotonin levels higher. Is it that or melanin? No, serotonin, serotonin. That's what you can say. And um, you have to eat more of it. That's my advice, do that. But don't choke on it, Kev. Thank you very much for listening. And I will be back tomorrow at nine o'clock. All being well. I didn't, shouldn't say that. Good night. Thank you. Good night.